I created this short film entirely using free AI tools. Once upon a time, there was an old treehouse hidden deep in the forest. It hadn't been visited for many years. One day, a group of teenagers decided to explore it. As they got close, they felt a chilly breeze and saw shadows dancing around the treehouse. Inside, they found a glowing boy ghost named Thomas. He looked sad and told them he couldn't find his way home. The teens wanted to help him. They looked through old town records and talked to people to learn about Thomas. They found out he had disappeared a long time ago. They remembered Thomas talking about his favorite toy. So, they searched around the treehouse and found the toy buried under it. They took the toy to the local cemetery and placed it there, hoping it would help Thomas. Their kindness worked. Thomas found peace and was no longer trapped. The treehouse felt happier and the teens felt good for helping a new friend. The ghost boy, Thomas, thanked them with a whisper, and the treehouse was no longer just an old scary place. This entire video was made using free AI tools. The best part? These videos are perfect for telling engaging stories and can be fully monetized on YouTube. There's a channel that's racked up 323K subscribers with just 24 videos and a mind-boggling 97 million views. No joke, and get this. Those videos are mostly AI generated and don't even come close to the awesome quality we've got. In this video, I'm going to walk you through every step to create amazing AI generated videos. We'll break it down into three easy peasy phases, scripting, visuals, and editing. I promise by the end, you'll be a pro at AI video production, Phase one, script phase. All right, let's start with the script. A great video always begins with a great script. I love using ChatGPT because it's super fast and makes awesome scripts. It also helps with ideas and prompts for later in the video making process. For example, I'll ask ChatGPT to write a 200 word story about a treehouse that's been abandoned for years, but starts to show strange activity. Teens discover it's haunted by a friendly ghost who needs their help to find peace. I usually go for a narrative style rather than a full-blown script because, honestly, ChatGPT doesn't always nail the script format. I'm using ChatGPT 4.0, but 3.5 are free and work great. You can use any AI tool you like. Our script is ready super fast and it's looking awesome. Now I'll ask ChatGPT to break it down and give me some prompts for visuals. These prompts will help us create pictures that fit each scene perfectly. When asking ChatGPT for prompts, be clear and specific. Let it know you'll use these prompts with a text-to-image tool. Also, say how long you want the prompts to be. This way, you'll get exactly what you need, and the AI will do a great job. Phase two, image generation. Okay, let's get to making those awesome images. We're using Ideogram because it's super cool and totally free. You can whip up to 20 images a day without spending a penny. Just copy and paste the prompts from ChatGPT into Ideogram and grab the images it spits out. For our video, I'm going with the cinematic, dark fantasy, vibrant style. It's perfect for the mood we're going for. Ideogram even lets you pick the genre of your images, which is pretty neat. Results are ready, they should look pretty cool. Download the images you like and keep going. Just keep copying the prompts from ChatGPT, pasting them into Ideogram, generating, and downloading. It's that simple. Keep repeating the steps and let the magic happen. I'll speed things up so you don't get bored watching. And there you go, our image generation is all done. The images should look pretty awesome and ready to use. Now let's jump into the voiceover part of our video. We need a voice that really fits the vibe. My top pick for this is Eleven Labs. It's fantastic because it offers voices in lots of different styles. While there are free tools out there, many creators mention them, but their voices often aren't suitable for monetization. Eleven Labs stands out as one of the best options with high quality voices in many categories. Eleven Labs has a free plan where you can create up to 10,000 characters. If you need more, you can always upgrade. Check the link in the description for more details. Just copy the initial narrative script from ChatGPT and head over to Eleven Labs for your voiceover. Pick a voice from their library that suits your story, paste the script in, and generate the voiceover. Once it's ready, download it from there. Next up, it's time to add some motion to our images to make them more engaging and lively. My go-to for this is Luma AI. They're super generous with their free plan, letting you animate and create up to 30 images each month. Just hop onto your browser, sign up with your Google account, and you'll land on their cool interface. This is where magic happens. 
import your images and write out what you want each image to do in your video. Keep bringing in those images and describing their moves to jazz up your scenes. After a few minutes, the results are in, and they're looking pretty amazing. I've tried several tools for animating images, but Luma AI really impressed me with its top-notch performance, even on their free plan. Just download your results and check out how cool they look. All right, we're at the final phase, editing. We're using CapCut for this because it's got a great free version with loads of cool features, transitions, animations, sound effects, and auto text. Start by importing all your visuals from Luma AI into CapCut. Then add in your videos and drop in the voiceover you got from Eleven Labs. If this video has been helpful, give it a thumbs up. I've put in a lot of hours and effort to bring you this info for free. Your support means a lot. If you're vibing with this content and want to stay in the loop for more free courses, consider hitting that subscribe button. Join the crew and get updates whenever I drop new stuff. Next, start adding your videos to the timeline. I like to name my scenes to keep things organized when adding visuals. Adjust the speed of some clips so they match the length of the voiceover. After that, we'll add background sounds to fit the theme. Since our video is in the horror genre, I'll search for spooky sounds and pick the ones that fit best. Always crop your sound effects or background music to match the length of the voiceover. Once cropped, adjust the volume levels. Turn up the voiceover to the max, but keep the background sounds a bit lower. Next up, let's add some cool effects. I'm going with a dark moody look, so I'll use the vignette effect. Just click on the plus icon to add it. Feel free to explore more effects if you like. After that, we'll add some transitions. I'm using just three types, clouds, black smoke, and pulling effects. You'll see why in a minute. Adding the pulling effect at certain points makes the scene look like the camera is zooming in or going inside. Here, I'll add the pulling effect to give it that extra touch. Keep adding those transitions where the clips meet up. If you've got any video ideas or requests, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, I'm iCash Coach. Welcome to the future of awesome content. Now let's add some sound effects to boost your video's engagement. For each scene, think about what sounds will make it pop. For instance, in a spooky scene, you might add a creepy horror sound and turn down the volume a bit. Get creative with your sound effects. Look at each scene and ask yourself, what sound does this need? Have fun and make those scenes come alive with the perfect sounds. Next up, let's add some captions. CapCut makes this super simple with its auto caption feature. Just head to the text section, pick auto captions, choose your language, I'm going with English, and hit generate. In no time, your captions will be ready. From there, you can tweak the font, choose templates, and add some cool effects. Once you're happy with everything, go ahead and export your video. I hope you've picked up some awesome tips from this video. See you in the next one.